strange, mysterious, and beautiful. These are the creatures that live deep down in Port Phillip Bay. There's a whole other life. It's, it's almost virtually like going to another planet. The underwater party's raging right beneath the Melbourne skyline, and most of us wouldn't even know it. Then again, few of us spend as much time on the water as Bob Pearce. I've only actually got to drive into uh, Albert Park and my heart skips a beat. He's been fishing here for more than 50 years, caught his first snapper when he was 16. The bay he remembers is starkly different to the one we see today. At the high tide line you have a, a row of mussels about so wide and about so high. There would be absolutely millions of them. It certainly changed from a a very uh, shellfish dominated reef habitat to a very sandy plain type, uh, almost desert looking. Dredging, pollution, overfishing are all to blame. The reefs in the top end of the bay that I know about have all but been obliterated. For years it's been Bob's dream to see the shellfish population return. He rallied Fisheries Victoria to help. Now together with marine biologists from the Nature Conservancy, they're on a mission. By restoring and repairing some of these reefs, we'll be able to bring back some of the, the fish life um, and hopefully clean up some of the water as well. Off the coast at Queenscliff, marine biologists are growing millions of shellfish. These tanks are filled with oysters, scallops and mussels. Eventually they'll be released at underwater test sites. It's basically showing you what a, a mussel bed would look like. Imagine this spread over tens and tens of acres on the seabed. They may be small, but each tiny shellfish has an incredible purpose. A single oyster can filter hundreds of litres of water. If we want a cleaner, more healthier, more productive bay, we need to get shellfish back in the bay. I don't think I'll ever look at an oyster the same way again when I go to eat one. No, no you won't. You'll probably feel sorry for it. This is the very first time marine scientists have attempted to restore shellfish reefs in Australia. It's a delicate operation, but if it works, the science could be applied to coastlines across the country. By having more shellfish reefs in, in the bay, it's going to be uh, better for people. We're going to have cleaner water, um, we're going to have more fish, uh, and we're going to have more biodiversity. I'd like to think that uh, when I get carried off in a wooden box, um, it's looking better than what it does now.